Now then folks, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Room of Despair. We're going to do an unboxing and talk about my festive plans. Welcome to Take Five in Eyes. <laughs> Nice to see you all again. Uh, thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. Getting near Christmas, and some of us will get some time off. So I've got big plans for the time off over Christmas. To help me with those plans, I needed some new lights. And we've got a new front light and a new rear light. These are from the Jobsworthy range at Planet X. Uh, I do have a front front and rear light anyway, which I usually not, usually use for daytime running um, because I hardly ever go out in the dark. So what's coming up soon necessitates some better lighting. So this is this one. This is the front light. This is the Jobsworthy Bobby Dazzler. 30 watt. We'll take a deeper look in a second. It's supposed to be 3000 lumens. Now I take a, you know, a pragmatic view when anybody talks about lumens. Remember, at the point of its most charge will be its highest lumen output. As soon as you switch it on, that will diminish. That's the reason. So it won't stay at 3000 lumens, even if it is proclaimed to be 3000 lumens. The same with any of these lights. The better the quality, the better the length of time it will stay at its highest output. Looks fine, looks absolutely fantastic myself. It has has a full charge. Um, in this environment, I can't really test it. So the rear light. As I say, we'll have a better look in a second what's included and what comes in the box. But the rear light is again the Jobsworthy range from Planet X. And it's called the Chip Cob. I, I just love the names that Planet X come up with. <laughs> I have no idea why it's called the Chip Cob. But there we go. I suppose it looks like a chip. More like a cob though. And before we get into that, a cob is a bread roll for everyone that's not from the region and this is a 50 lumen flash variable flash and it is quite reasonable it's also right so sip of tea what's coming up hope you're all managing to get out over this weekend by the way it's sunday filming these i film all, all these on sun on sunday so what we got planned? Festive plan. Clues in the title. I am a bit sort of um, unhappy with my overall cy cycling activity over this last year. Uh, I've done more mileage, but it's all mostly been indoors. There's been the mo moments out outdoors, you know, the couple of FCC rides and uh, Frosty Cycling Crew rides, and you know a few rides here that here and there but in comparison the mileage i've done on on zwift with what i've done outside it, it's not i am happy because it's far more than what i've ever done in the past but I need to go out I need to be outside and this this last push to do something notable over you know, for 20 19 uh, before we run out of this year um, so I've decided to have a crack at the festive 500 the Rafa festive 500 it'll be a big ask I've probably already um, killed any notion of, the, of uh, doing it by announcing it on here if I have announced it, I've got sort of a commitment going to actually get out and do it. Now, the problem is, it's over eight days. Is it over eight days? I think 500 kilometres over eight days. Um, starting Christmas Eve and finishing New Year's Eve. And this is be the biggest thing I have ever... I think I can do it. I think I'm fit enough to do it. 
whether I can actually get up and go out into whatever it's doing, rain, snow, sleet, whatever. As long as it's not four foot of snow, I'm hoping that it will actually kick my arse into gear, so to speak, for the coming year. If I don't do it, I don't know whether it's important. It's important that I have a crack at it. That's the way I feel. If I have a crack at this 500k, um, and a good crack, then I can be happy. If it gets me sorted and um, ready to take on 2020 in a better frame of mind, even better. So we'll have a look at these lights a bit more in detail. Right, so we have the light. Get it in centre. Jobsworthy Bobby Tesla 30 watt, 3000 lumen. It's also interesting to note. It's a 3600 amp charge pack. You can charge from this as well as power your front light. Sturdy metal construction. I'm quite impressed with how sturdy this is. Feels powered three. Cree LEDs comes with handlebar mount and the handle and it also comes with two strips of rubber spacer which actually I'm using the thin one you can there's a thicker one I also cut about half a centimeter off so it closes around the handlebars better brackets quite sturdy it slides on from the back. No, it doesn't. Hang on. From the back to the and clips in. It has main dim and flash. It's only three modes and off. I can't test how good they are in this light. I'll have to wait until we're out on the bike. Comes with the USB charge cable. The rear, as I say, the chip cob. <laughs> chip cob, I love it. Its charge point is underneath there, look. And this goes on the seat post or even the chain stay. And as I say, it's variable flash. We have we have a slow, I don't know if you can see that, we have a slow flash, it's slightly faster and faster again. completely yeah yeah so four modes permanent so the usual thing press it press it again quickly to flash as I said before this is 50 lumen variable flash nice little backlight and comes with the o-ring to fit it around the seat post he says getting in a mess anyway so there we have it we have the chip cob rear light We have the chip cob rear light and we have the jobs worthy Bobby Dazzler. Proof will be in the pudding when we are out on the festive 500 over the next coming, well, over, over the Christmas period. So, anyone up this region, you know where I am, I'm in Derbyshire, anyone around here or uh, local that's also having a crack at it and wants to uh, you know, have a reason to go out and reason to meet up and ride 
um, forever what the distance you want to do, then, you know, contact me on here or on Facebook or wherever. Usually contactable in any of those sort of ways. Y yeah. And maybe we can encourage each other. Okay, so that's it. Um, that's it for this Take 5 with night. I said, are you planning on doing the Festive 500? I'd be interested to know. One thing. Might not be another video between now and Christmas. So please have a great Christmas. Um, or whatever you do to celebrate the holidays. Still here, still watching, consider subscribing to the channel, help no end. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, click here. In the meantime, stay safe, enjoy your cycling. I'll see you in the next vlog.